here and welcome back to another graveyard review and this graveyard review is actually something i just actually did recently get and i haven't made a review on it so if you remember the day i or uh the day i posted my ride aid uh walkthrough i recorded that a day before i uploaded it so it was maybe around the 5th of october i actually went to ride aid and while i was there i picked up actually the animated talking jack o lantern now, this thing was sold at Walgreens last year, and I have to admit, I, I liked it a lot. At first, I didn't really, like, care for it, but I actually really like it a lot. I think it's a cool idea. I like the face, and it's definitely very creative. Uh, there's also a witch version this year. I think she's cool, but I'm not personally into it, and I don't think it really makes that much sense. Uh, well, this doesn't really make that much sense either, but I think it's just more cool or more better. I don't know. Just my opinion. This is actually very cool. This is the first thing I picked up. I already did the second time I went. I picked up the orb for my misfortune teller, which I already did a review on. Uh, this is very cool. And I just want to say I'm sorry for posting videos. It's kind of late at night now. I know I'm posting in the morning like I usually used to be doing. Uh, but it's just been kind of busy doing stuff. So I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, um, let's get to it. So the box is uh, writing home. That's their, like, their, their type of front and name. Try me animated jack o' lantern. Take a look at the box. The side. There's nothing really much. Got some really cool ghosts and skeleton bones. Very cool. Very cool. It did rip right here a bit, but that doesn't. It's just a box. I'm not gonna hurt it. This is actually a very cool item. I really like this thing a lot. The face is very creepy. It's actually, it's actually a hard plastic. It's actually a, like a rubber. So you just like rubber. Uh, the ones that they had there have a, like, had like a derpy or like a weird looking face. Like it's like all smushed in. This is actually the, the best one they had there. I think it looks the best. Looks really cool. And the mouth is really cool in the detail. The eyes and the mouth. And the teeth. And it's just very realistic for just a pumpkin face. Look at that. that that pumpkin squish seeds that looks really cool and the face is just really cool. I gotta admit, this is pretty realistic for just a cheap item. This thing was actually no, it's not really that cheap. It was actually retailed for forty dollars. And now you're probably thinking, why would you pay forty dollars for this when you can get something out of spirit for like, you know, a little zappy or evil eye spellbook? I actually did I actually did buy Evil Eye Spellbook, which will be coming up soon in my channel. But I bought this for actually twenty dollars because I have a ready card, so I made it twenty dollars. And so if you're gonna go to Rite Aid and and you're gonna buy this, don't buy it regular price. Get a get a Rite Aid card because anything you buy from Rite Aid and you have a card, you can get it fifty percent off. So I got this for fifty percent off. And I think it was definitely worth the money. Uh, I'm gonna probably take it out of the box now and show you a better look at this. Um, it's very cool. I really like this thing a lot. So let's get a better look at it. So as I'm taking it out of the box, I noticed something very strange that I like to mention. When you're taking this out of the box, there's like this little cardboard thingy out of the, that holds the zip ties. But it's not just like a plain cardboard. It has words in it. It's just an animated cage. It's like a cage, one of those cage things that Reddy had, or it's like an unreleased thing. It's really care for thirty dollars. I wonder if this is something unreleased. Very interesting. I thought I'd just share that. That's actually pretty weird and interesting. Why would they do that? Are they supposed to get more in stock? Were they having an unreleased item? Maybe a possible 2017 item? We just have to see. It could be just one of those caged clowns and skeleton that they sell. So it's probably not even any of that. But I thought I'd share that just in case you guys want to wonder. Here it is actually out of the box. As you can see, it looks really cool. And it still is amazing. Look how cool it just looks. It just looks like a really cool prop, you know. This is actually a very nice one. Um, very cool. One of my favorites from my day this year. And from Walgreens last year. This is very cool. Look at that. That's just really cool face. Look at that. That's just really cool. I don't know why I just like it a lot. There's a bottom. 
there's an on off battery compartment this the speaker and these little stands that were holding the I was at tabs of course on the back oh, it's just floating away uh, on the back it's just a regular plastic pumpkin nothing too exciting about that so it might be an ordinary pumpkin like this you don't expect it this is very cool I like this thing a lot so we're gonna play all the phrases and show you guys I'm gonna play all the phrases and tell you guys my reading on this so here we go So I think I played all the phrases, but I, I found this pumpkin very cool, very spooky. I really like this thing a lot. I think it's actually very nice for Halloween season. I think it's very cool. This it just it just the voice the voice is cool, the phrases are cool, and it looks cool. Not honestly much to complain about. So if you're gonna pick this up, I recommend using a uh, getting a card so you can get it fifty percent off. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give this pumpkin, uh, this light up animated jack o' lantern, a Hmm. A four point five out of five pumpkins. If you have, if you see one of these, pick it up. I would really recommend it. And if you're gonna write it, get a fifty percent off card, so you can get this fifty percent off. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. So, am I as scary in person as I am in your nightmares?